welcome to part three of the United Mexican States. I'm Spartan John, and thank you very much for watching. In the last episode, we gained a crap ton of land. Unfortunately, there's riots, but, you know. Alright, that's, that's more than enough um, for now. Let's go ahead and just set up a uh, nice 44 Division Army. You know, I wonder how long I was paused last episode. Hopefully not too long, because, you know. Anyways. Um, yeah, pretty soon we're just going to start justifying war goals against um, multiple Latin America countries. Speaking of which, I need to... Sooner or later, learn how to do Marines. Not that way. Yeah, I saw what you were thinking. I mean, if you're into that, you know. That's you, man. But Or a woman, you know. For that. Uh, what was it? Like, three 19-year-olds who've ever uh, see my channel or below some 17 or so I saw a 35 year old female uh, come across my channel so that's you know of course I guess she didn't stay long because she only watched for 15 seconds or so apparently Man, the Haiti still has a core on the Dominican Republic. Hmm. <laughs> but the pose seem enthusiastic. I wouldn't feel enthusiastic right now. <clears throat> this will certainly play out to be an interesting war. Speaking of which, um, how is my... Do I have any navy? I have 14 boats. Where? Perfect. Armada de Mexico. Oh, I already... Okay. A surplus is 948 oil. Okay. Um.
Oh, good. It's time to start justifying war against, uh... Alright. We can justify war in a moment. Well, Germany is not getting completely curb stomped, curb stomped this time, but it's it's pretty bad. All right, my apologies. I will be right back. All right. Around 15 more minutes or so. Oh, yep, as usual. Communists win. I don't uh Communism seems to be a very, very strong um, force in this world, or in this universe. It's very strange. Yep. I mean, this is good for me. Right now. I believe what makes communism so strong in this world is the fact that when the Great Depression hit, pretty much the communists wasn't too effective. You know, organized labor kept them afloat. Anyways. Uh, yeah, feed Mexico. Which reminds me, it's time to start justifying war on 
Cuba. It will take me 204 days. Time to Next will probably be Haiti. Wow. Okay, then. That was not a good sign. I was going and bring it up to speed far, five, I mean, whatever. And I'm getting really tired of these rides. Well, that is quite unfortunate. Hey, what's this? Sure. Yeah, that looks good. All right, pulling through. Come on. You can do it. I really need an ally. And a strong one. If asked who would win... I honestly really have no idea. Like, I'm not like in a realistic or real life scenario. I'm talking in this, you know, universe or in this current situation more likely. Like, all right, let's 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 take a look at this. All right, so we have lots and lots of metropolis regions, which is fantastic. In fact, I believe that America's better off in this universe than 
in the real, you know, universe. Uh, so the edge goes to the combined syndicalist, and especially in a moment, if they're able to get uh, Illinois fully under their control. Man, I sound like I'm talking about election night or some crap. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's do that. So, these guys have the better factories, and in fact, they probably also have the better population. Yeah, they do, bro. Yep. Yeah. So, the United States will eventually run out of manpower. Let's take a look at these guys. I don't know. I honestly see... It's honestly at this point too early to tell, like fully tell, but if I had money, which I don't, <laughs> I would bet on, um, I'd bet on the commies. <clears throat> Why don't I like Oh, they do not. Oh, wait. American. Okay. Wait, did. American. Oh, they're all Americans. Okay. Um. They do not have. Okay, that's alright, though. Alright, socialist science. Let's go and do that. For now. Ooh, that was a significant development. <coughs> Sorry. Eternal autocrats. In all honesty, the United States is to the point to where they're not too different than the Union State. Anyways, um, let's continue to. Ooh. Hey, look at that. That's... Let's go ahead and do that. Won't have to worry about light tanks anymore. There we go. Uh. Oh great, now the Ottomans are going to be at war with Cyprus for the next 1,000 years because of the fact that they don't know how to naval invade. Am I done yet? Okay, I'm getting there. Anyways, I am terribly sorry for this sh relatively short video. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope that you have a good one. See ya.